Hey Aries, and welcome to your monthly reading for the month of February. We'll start by pulling you a court card from this pile over here. And you're walking into this month as the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is the most nurturing of the court cards. Look at that rabbit there. It's almost like, you know, if rabbits are symbols of the fast-paced world that we live in, Aries, I think you're finally going to give yourself a little break this month. Let's see what the tarot has to say. What are you nurturing within yourself this month? Some sort of balance here between work and life? Perhaps, what is the opportunity for Aries this month? Okay, it looks like the Eight of Pentacles. So I think you're working on your self-care routine, the challenge, the hanged man. And there it is, right? I make light, but because Aries, you guys are... Um, very forthcoming, um, really sort of explosive and wanting to be on the scene. And so it is a challenge to sort of take a step back. But I think that uh, the rewards here for you is to nurture yourself, your body, do what feels good to you right now. And maybe the challenge is you're dealing with a situation where your action is being limited and so you're trying to find other things to work on and so in the absence of perhaps an opportunity you are working on yourself the greatest opportunities of all and there it is the four of swords showing up as the goal here so meditation let's, let me just show you this beautiful card um, meditation and rest taking some needed rest Aries mm-hmm underneath the Knight of Wands. So very fast, passionate energy. Aries, when you move through the world the way that you do in your essence of your fire element, you do need to take rests, rests, periods of rest. And that's what the month of February is um, holding for you, holding space for you to rest. In the past, we have the what is that the nine of pentacles yeah pre-empress luxury it's almost like you knew this time would come maybe you planned some rest or maybe you've planned a vacation for yourself the hierophant tradition tradition by the book hmm maybe this is a normal thing for you aries um to take some time out for you this time of year. Is that the case? Um, let's keep going. Hmm. Okay, sorry, let's keep going. The Queen of Cups, Ace of Pentacles as the environment. Yep, so there's some sort of golden opportunity here for some rest. I feel like deep down you might feel a little sense of FOMO um, about something here, but you have the Six of Wands as the outcome, the victory, and the Hierophant. So the Hierophant is, um, could be marriage, a legal case. It's almost like, yeah, if your hands are tied right now regarding an important situation in your life, um, what I'm seeing is that you are, I think, possibly grieving a potential outcome and heading that off with some uh, rest. I'm actually also getting the sense right now that there's something on your mind that is maybe deeply troubling. And so you are approaching that by taking care of yourself physically while you await 
um, some sort of matter to go in your favor. As the Queen of Cups energy down here, you are connected to this sense that this is how you must spend your time right now is building yourself up, feeling good physically in the body. You'd like to take action, but you can't. So you you work on other things in the meantime. Show me the Four of Swords up here. The Four of Swords. What are we getting out of this, this need for rest? The Knight of Pentacles. So here we have routine, working on either a daily routine or working hard at something, trying to stay positive. Yeah, you might be realizing that something may or may not go in your favor. I think that you're, you're trying to wrap your head around Aries, the idea that something may not turn out the way that you want despite all of your efforts so now the new effort is or maybe it's simply out of your control so the new effort is how do you maintain a level of positivity around this situation or the potential outcome i think that's a very healthy thing to do um, is to take your foot off the gas um, assess the situation assess where you're at take a take an assessment of um See where you can build up some skill points in your own personal life, you know? Um, how can you improve your day-to-day -day routine? What is it that you're working on right now that's making you feel really good, that's consistent in your life, that is um, bringing you joy? Okay. I do see victory here at the end of, in, of the outcome, so I feel like that this is... This is all just to alleviate any feelings of frustration or anxiety, possibly, because you are the sign of progress um, or ambition. Um, and so it could feel frustrating to, be, to have your hands tied, to not be able to make progress right now on something. And you're just trying to find an opportunity um, to express your true nature here in the month of February. Um, let's get some more information. What is this opportunity showing up? Show me more about this opportunity here. And then I'll ask about the outcome of what this, this is here. Yep, there's the Six of Swords, the Two of Swords, and the Five of Wands. So I'm really getting that the, the opportunity here is to learn how to um, learn how to handle situations where your instinctual response is not, like your programmed response, the way that you would naturally interact with um, anything that comes across your path. You're having to um, leave whenever you have to leave that behind and make a new decision it's about understanding how that conflict is an opportunity for growth that's what I'm getting for you Aries how can you turn this possible conflict or this inability to move as a way to move into a new area of your life to make progress somewhere else how, how effectively can you shift gears? Um, I don't think it's very easily is the sense that I'm getting because we also have the Five of Cups in the hopes and fears um, position. So, you know, that is disappointment. It's almost like, oh, I really wish that would have worked out. Oh, damn. Um, and in other cases, like you got to see what's what else is around you. You just got to turn around and look that there's, you know, maybe another project to work on, another person to talk to, or another thing, you know, just another blessing that is in your life. Okay, so in that sense, you know, regardless of what happens to you this month, 
I think that you will be victorious for being able to make this change in your life to turn around and say, I'm going to work on me for a little while. Because uh, I think that there is a lot to be gained from this energy of the Queen of Pentacles to keep going in the direction of um, nurturing oneself. And, you know, they say the Queen of Pentacles is also somebody who lives the manifestation that the magician manifests. So you are living the life right now. Whatever situation you're dealing with that um, has the possibility of leading to any feelings of disappointment, I think you have to realize that there's so many good things um, in your life to be um, happy for. And so take stock of the little things um, in your life. Um, and possibly I see two cards here of sort of leaving something behind. And so um, this could be a, a mentality um, around how you make progress in your life. This could be a mentality around your own sense of um, possibility. Um, you know, when, when something becomes impossible, how do you react to it? Do you go voice of doom and, and say, I can't believe this, you know, and um, you get maybe riled up? You know, that's the foundation. That's that fiery sort of foundation of like your program to react in this sort of fiery way. Um, and I think you know this. I think that you have um, a, a, a deep level of self-awareness, Aries. Maybe that's why the Hierophant is showing up because the Hierophant is Taurus. It's also the throat chakra, one thing at a time. Taurus is also how is the sign of how we make up our bodies, how we appear and how we take care of ourselves, how we're put together. So I think that that's what you're working on. I think the month of February is a self-care month for you, Aries. I think it's, um, you're taking a time out from how you have normally been showing up and you're understanding those foundational elements of you. And it's not so much that you're changing them or wanting to change them, but I think you're just realizing that, yeah, while there are some things you rather leave behind, those are your formative and foundational elements of yourself, and you're going to give them the respect that is due for getting you to where you are now. And I think that you will continue to use those parts of yourself um, in the future, again, having this respect so going back to the throat chakra, like that is like speaking our truth. Um, to me, speaking truth requires a lot of bravery and respect for oneself and for the situation um, and for the person to whom or people to whom you're speaking. So I think that whatever this situation you're dealing with this month, Aries, you're doing it with a tremendous amount of respect I think that you needed this, your body needed this, this break. And I think that if this resonates for you and you've been following me up until this point, again, we have the, the, the six of wands as the outcome card, as in victory. You will have victory in speaking your truth. Or um, if this maybe is about a legal matter, you're dealing with a situation, <laughs> some sort of institutional thing. I see success here um, by simply taking care of yourself. You know, we are the magic. Our energy, our feelings is the magic that imbues, that we imbue into everything that we do. So in some ways it could feel backwards to say, I'm going to take a hands-off approach to this external situation and focus on me. However, by doing that, you're actually getting to the root of a situation that you're involved in. It's indirect, but it is effective, Aries. So um, kudos to you for tapping into this intuitive self, sense of self. And um, it may be challenging at times, uh, but I would just try to remember that you're learning a new way of doing things. 
this month that may feel against your nature. Uh, but we are all multifaceted. And so uh, maybe you have some water in your chart. Yeah, Aries. So anyway, yeah, that's what I have for you for the month of February. I hope that this helps. If this resonated for you, I really hope that um, you uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you feel so moved, and I'll see you on the next one.